Christmas mischief. At the North Pole, where the candy canes sing, and snow shines like glitter on everything. In his workshop, Santa is toiling away, getting everything ready for Christmas Day. The elves are busy buzzing like bees, making presents to put under Christmas trees. Santa's checking his list, making sure that it's right. Everyone gets the perfect present tonight. But there is someone who might try to make Santa's best laid plans go awry. Sitting up there on the highest shelf is the most mischievous little elf. Strawberry thinks that it would be fun to play a prank on everyone. When the other elves are looking away, she hides away in Santa's sleigh. When all of the presents are ready to go and the reindeer's noses start to glow, Santa lets out a merry ho, ho, ho! and flies off through the falling snow. At the first house where Santa stops, down the chimney the first present drops and Strawberry watches on with glee as the box is opened under the tree. See, Jimmy had asked Santa for a new bike. But in this box was a northern pike. The fish begins to flop all around, and poor little Jimmy starts to frown. At the next house, Santa makes double sure that the right presents are left on the floor. But instead of a pot for making her tea, Molly opens a box filled with hundreds of bees. How very strange, Santa says to himself. I checked every present packed by an elf. But instead of a comb for brushing his hair, Dewey got socks and underwear. Instead of a new pair of nice pajamas, Melody got a herd of llamas. Instead of a brand new suit and tie, Hugo got a face full of pie. Instead of a telescope to look at the stars, Rizzo got sent all the way to Mars! In the back of the sleigh, Strawberry let out a giggle, and Santa saw the presents wiggle. He dug through the boxes, pushed them aside, and found the mischievous elf inside. Look what you've done! Santa said with a frown. Christmas is ruined! You've upset the whole town! Strawberry said, look around, no one's sad, everyone's laughing, happy and glad. Though the mischievous elf was playing tricks, it turned out everyone loved their gifts. Hugo's pie was his favorite, bananas and cream. And going to Mars was Rizzo's dream. Melody made cozy socks and pajamas out of the wool from her herd of llamas. There was enough honey from all of the bees to sweeten a hundred cups of tea. Dewey put on his new pair of underwear, and now his bum is no longer bare. Jimmy found a bowl for the northern pike and called the giant fish Big Mike. They were the best friends boy and fish could be, but Big Mike still misses the sea. Santa bundled Strawberry back in the sleigh, just glad she had not ruined Christmas Day. The mischievous elf had had her fun, picking out the best presents for everyone.